Hello, welcome to Pennside Presbyterian Church. I'm Pastor Dave coming to you with a word of hope for today. To begin, we have the beloved hymn, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine, by David Cullen. David. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Heir of salvation, purchase of God. Lord of the Spirit, washed in His blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praising my Savior all the day long. My story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight, visions of rapture that burst in thy sight, angels descending, break from above. Of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior, happy and blessed, watching and waiting, looking above, filled with His goodness, lost in His love. This is my story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. My story, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. Thank you, David. Let us pray. Dear Lord, you are our only hope. Teach us to put our trust in you. God, you are our help. Teach us the path of righteousness and turn us from the ways of the wicked. For we know that you love those who do justice, who will forever praise you for the glory of your righteous reign now and forever. Amen. Our text this week is from Hebrews chapter 9, verses 24 to 28. For Christ did not enter a sanctuary made by human hands, a mere copy of the true one, but he entered into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Nor was it to offer himself again and again as the high priest enters the holy place year after year with blood that is not his own. For then he would have had to suffer again and again since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the age to remove sin by the sacrifice of himself. And just as it is appointed for mortals to die once and after that the judgment, so Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. There are good days, and there are really good days. My son's wedding day was a really good day. The bride was radiant, the groom dashing, and the families and friends were over the moon with happiness. It was a really good day. And we will celebrate the anniversary of that day for the rest of our lives, just as my wife and I celebrate the anniversary of our special day, every year. We celebrate the anniversary of those good days, but we do not repeat them, because some days change everything, once and for all. My in-laws sent my wife and I that message after our wedding. It seemed like it was the very next week that they redecorated their home and turned my wife's room into my father-in-law's home office. Message received. There was a no return policy in place, and no return is necessary. Hebrews points us to another good day, a day that it is so good that it changed our lives forever. On Good Friday, Hebrews tells us what happened. 
For Christ did not enter a sanctuary made by human hands, a mere copy of the true one, but he entered into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. Nor was it to offer himself again and again as the high priest enters the holy place year after year with blood that is not his own. For then he would have had to suffer again and again since the foundation of the world. But as it is, he has appeared once for all at the end of the age to remove sin by the sacrifice of himself. Sin has a way of sticking with us, like dog fur on a black tuxedo. Trust me, I know. And we struggle with forgiveness. Can we forgive ourselves? Can we forgive one another? Will God really forgive me? The gospel is good news. We are forgiven. Not because we deserve it. Not because we've done enough to make up for what we've done. No, we are forgiven because Jesus himself has offered himself as a sacrifice for our sins once for all. We know this, but we forget how good Good Friday is. We forget that forgiveness is once for all. We forget that we are forgiven because of the merits of Jesus Christ. He is worthy. And because He is worthy, no further sacrifice is necessary. God has accepted His offering once for all. Our debt is paid. The Christian religion, author Kathleen Norris has written, asks us to put our trust not in ideas, and certainly not in ideologies, but in a God who was vulnerable enough to become human and die, and who desires to be present to us in our ordinary circumstances. Good Friday was a good day. It was so good it's worth talking about in November, this day, and every day. Because on Good Friday, Jesus offered the perfect sacrifice for our sins. We are forgiven once for all. Amen. Let's pray. Good and gracious God, for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, we give you thanks and praise. For the gift that sets us free from our sins, we give you thanks. Lord, for the capacity you have given us to turn away from sin and to turn to you and to walk in your way, your ways of justice, righteousness, and peace. Oh, Lord, we give you thanks. Lord, for the opportunities and the possibilities to repent, to turn around, to change the direction of our lives. Lord, from ways that lead to ruin to ways that lead to life and health and peace. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we lift up to you our loved ones, whom we worry about, whom we see going astray, whom we see walking down paths that do not lead to green fields and pleasant oases. Lord, we pray you would give them the grace to repent and turn around. And Lord, we pray you would give us the grace to see the ways that we are walking that are not the paths that lead to peace. We pray that you would give us the grace to see where we need to change and draw near to you all the more. Oh Lord, I pray you would give us all the grace this day to trust not in ourselves, but to trust in you, and in you find peace. I ask this in Jesus' name, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. God loves you. God forgives you. Share these gifts, and keep on believing the good news. Amen. Thanks for watching.